cold faggot. That, they, man, man, the Lord got a lot. The Lord got a bone to pick, man. The Lord has a controversy, man. We telling y'all. Lord finna come do a lot of fucking destruction. And at the same, it's beautiful because it's gonna cleanse the earth. Because we don't want no more faggots on earth. That's right. <laughs> That's right. No more faggots. We're <laughs> doing a rally. Yeah, we're gonna do a faggot rally, man. Cut you niggas' heads off, man. Hey, as soon as the most hot uh, uh, say no more fishing. He say no more fishing, yep. turn into hunters. Uh -huh. We're gonna hunt you, man. Uh -huh. and it, it's, the mass amount of you faggots go to church. Oh, I say go hunt them yes. out of them groves. Yeah, out of them groves. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna have fun, yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. All you gonna see is church hats. Yeah. <laughs> church hats rolling and flying around, man. <laughs> like that shit in Kingsman. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a spiritual scene. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. He was slaughtering all that shit. That's how the men of the Lord gonna be. Lord willing, Lord give us that lot, man. We praying for that. Cause yes. we, 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 cause you know, having a spiritual conversation with a brother, man. You know, in the kingdom, we gonna be cool with with with, with our people, man. But the heathens, fuck the heathens, man. They, they spittle. Like, they gonna get theirs, we, and then we gonna have fun with them. A thousand years. Right. right. But you niggas, man, you, like, you niggas finna get a reward when you really don't deserve it. You haven't showed the most how you deserve it. So that's why, hey, this finna be the worst ass whooping you can ever imagine, man. And, and we, we praying to Heavy Father, let us take part in that, man. Oh, uh, oh I'm gonna yeah. skip over eating Mike to fucking crush yeah. a nigga woman's skull, that's man. Right. Yo, ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Two thirds gotta get that ass whooping, baby. Right. Oh no, nah, fuck, nah, bruh. You, you, you done, huh? they, they done profane the name of the Lord in the in the midst of the heathens, man. So the Lord gonna have to whoop that ass for His name's sake, man. That's right. That he got he gotta give it to you, man. He gotta lay it on that ass, man. All right, cause he he about to he about to save you for His name's sake. So he gotta whoop your ass right. for His for name's sake. sake. <laughs> That's right. My reputation on the line now. You see? You see? <laughs> to, let you, to let you niggas know, this ass whoop is going to be worse than the extension cord, bruh. I'm dead ass serious. Because what the Lord got coming for you, the extension cord don't cut it, bruh. <laughs> yes, man. Worse than a uh, switch with thorns on it, man. Because the, the first thing a nigga do when he, when he get judged, what's the first thing he say? Oh, God. <laughs> this ass whooping gonna be so bad, you gonna curse the most out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are. They are. And that's scripture. We ain't making that up. That's scripture. Yeah, that's a revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Revel <laughs> the, the most recent book written says you niggas are gonna curse the Heavenly Father. You see, you see, it, happen, you see it happen slowly though. Them niggas, when them niggas get judged, they say, oh God, or they, or they question you. They be like, why, God, why me? So when that time come, ain't gonna be nothing for them to turn on the most high, man. You know, niggas don't understand that this is the gospel. The Lord finna get revenge for y'all niggas um, sending them up to the, um, them Edomites, man. Y'all sent Yahweh shout out to them Edomites to say, uh, execute him, man. That's the gospel. The Lord getting his vengeance back. Ooh, and, 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 oh, and, oh, and then when, 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 he, when he was ascended up into heaven, you killed his apostles and his prophets, man. Yep. And what did the Lord said, man? The Lord said that 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 uh that that it may come up that it may uh that all the blood from righteous Abel to Zechariah may come upon this generation, man. So you people, you niggas are through through through, man. Let me bring it out. Uh, oh my goodness, as, man. as well as the prophets today. Yep. God. Let me bring it out, and it's documented. Yep. Here we go. We got the twelve apostles. Andrew was crucified. Bartholomew was beaten, then crucified. James, the son of Alphaeus, was stoned to death. James, the son of Zebedee, was beheaded. John exiled for his faith. After a failed attempt to fry him in cooking oil. Yep, wow. that's, why, that's, why they sent, that's why they sent him to Patmos, man. And, and that, was, that was supposed to be a life sentence. He outlived it. And then actually he, um, he died a peaceful death in right. Turkey. But he was the only of one of the apostles that actually lived. Right. And it say he died of old age. Yeah. Uh, Judas, not Iscariot, was stoned to death. Matthew was speared to death. 
Peter crucified upside down because he said it wasn't worthy of him to be crucified like Yahweh shot. Yeah, that so, was, that was, yes, yeah, go ahead. So yeah, they had him turn, he told him to put him upside down. God, man, that was, that was in Rome, man. With, with, uh, Nero's wicked ass, man, okay? He blamed it on the Christians because he he blamed it on he blamed it on the so-called Christians, the Israelites that believed in the Yahweh Shah because he knew that they were the, the minority, man. Not even their own people that was living in Rome was fucking with them, man. So he knew that he could take advantage of that. And that's why uh, Peter died, man. He died crucified, hanging upside down, and Paul was beheaded, man. That happened when Nero bitch ass burned down Rome and he found he needed somebody to blame it on, man. And you niggas did not stick up for the apostles who were your own people who were preaching the gospel. So yo bitch ass, man. Fucking wicked ass niggas, man. Go ahead. Say Philip, he was crucified. Simon was crucified. Thomas was speared to death, and Matthias was stoned to death. But that all that validates what Yahweh Shah told him. You know, they uh, they persecuted me. They gonna persecute you. Look, they bought, they bared their cross, man. That's right. Matthias got put to death. Explain to you niggas about Yahweh Shah, like running down the history to these niggas, man. This guy and they feeling so damn bad, they, they just stoned the man. That's 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 he was just giving y'all hit the history, man. He ain't saying no lie. He said y'all went off in the in the in the um, wilderness. That's that was written in the book. Yeah. Y'all stoned him. You resisted the Holy Spirit, man. Okay? Harden not your heart as in the provocation. That's in Psalms. And that's in, that's in the Torah, man. Okay, the Exodus, uh, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Leviticus, man. And and when he was when he was giving that testimony, he was standing in front of the scribes and the Pharisees and 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 the Sadducees, man. And they still killed him, man. These are supposed to be men that's supposed to be teaching the law. They know the bot. They they know the scriptures, so to speak, man. They telling people to follow the scriptures, man. And y'all stoned him, man. That's why. And you the same one. You same niggas are back today, man. Same niggas that said that his blood be upon us and our children and our children's children. The same niggas that, that killed the apostles and the disciples and the prophets, they back today, man. So now you're going to receive your fucking judgment, man. Right. And you can't stone, you can't crucify the men of the Lord. You can't stone them. You can't put your hands on them. They, they got an age. The angels encamped around them, wherever they bringing out this word at. You can't do nothing about it, but hear it and, 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 and wail in your tears. It's going to be national teeth. It's gonna be national tea. Kind, man. Like, cause like the brother said, you here to serve out. That's what's going on this time around. You're serving out judgment. And those same prophets that was crucified, they back here today. And they same lot. It's time for them to be exonerated, man. Right. This is Luke 21 and 17. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. The prophets, man. You're going to be hated for Yahweh Shemashah namesake. This is verse 18. But there shall none, but, but there shall not a hair of your head perish. Man. So they ain't going to be able to uh, uh, kill the elect, man. Some of the elect on this time, man. Y'all killed the prophets in the, in the past generation, but this generation, they going to get delivered, man. You know, some, some, some prophets going to be in the concentration camp, but most of the prophets, they going to see Yahweh Shemashah in the chariots. That's right. You hate me now, but I won't stop now. That's right. That's for the brothers, man. This second Ezra chapter one verse thirty-two. I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, whom you have taken and slain, and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, says the Lord. So right now the Lord is going to get vengeance. The Lord is the one who's going to have vengeance, man. But all you fucking people. On two thirds of our people and the, and the Edomites, because Edomites is killing prophets too. They the ones who uh, um, executed the um, the um, um, the crucif um, crucifixion of Yahweh. So all you fucking heathens, man. And it says that um, in First Maccabees, when um, when Judas Maccabeus they started slaying people and waxing stronger, the heathens started killing all Jacob. All Israelites that were in their lands, man. So all you fucking heathens, man. Y'all, y'all hate, man. Y'all, y'all hate um the Lord's men, and all y'all finna get it, man. That's what we talking about, man. We talking about destruction and the Lord getting His vengeance, man. That's right. This is Second Ezra fifteen, and I start at verse twenty-one. 
hot in that verse 22. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also, so will I do also a recompense in their bosom. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, my right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon earth. What? 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 So, wait, hold. The, the, the Lord said, so as they do to my chosen, so shall I do unto them. So, wait, these, they, cruci they crucified the prophets and the apostles. Spirit them, burn them, Spirit, and them, burn them, and cook and grease. So, which means that at this time, they gon' they gonna get burnt in ovens. They gon' they gonna be the ones getting hanged. They're the ones who's gonna get uh that, that's gonna get uh bullets, uh, which are the modern day spears run through them. That's that's how the Lord get down, man. You wanna you wanna mess with His prophets? The Lord's gonna fuck you up, man. That's bad, man. Yeah, that's right, man. This is Luke uh, 11 and 49. Therefore also said the what? Therefore also said the wisdom of the Most High. I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute. That the blood of all the prophets which was said, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation, from the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altars. In the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Most I gonna require that blood. Um, this is damn. Galatians. Let me go to Galatians. Man. Yeah, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. But whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if you reject the Lord's uh, words, you reject the Lord's prophets, y'all do it all day, every day. Whether y'all come out and y'all walk past the prophets, or whether you just refuse to um, um, read your Bible, you delete your Bible app, which you got just sitting there. You delete your Bible app so you can um, take some more pictures, some uh, so you can send to a uh, bitch or some shit. So you're going to read what you sow, man. That's all. It's going to read what you sow. You celebrating Christmas, you celebrating Halloween, you celebrating Thanksgiving and all these fucking wicked ass holidays. When somebody done told your ass to look up them holidays, we in 2016, you don't, niggas done heard it, man. Niggas cloak, cloak is gone. That's why the law finna come back, man. The cloak is gone off of you niggas, man. It's knowledge out here, man. Your phone could, you could, you could learn. You can learn everything off your fucking phone, man. What, what, what can be learned, you can learn it off your phone. So you're going to reap what you sow, man. You reap wickedness, you're going to sow. Uh, you sow wickedness, you're going to reap wickedness, man. People are wicked as fuck, man. Ain't fucking nigga woman too, man. I'm going to touch on y'all fucking asses, man. So fucking proper. Y'all going to Y'all going to reap what y'all sow. Because a nigga woman thinks that she just could do whatever the fuck she want. A nigga suit, man. Give me a topic. This is John chapter 15, verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they would keep yours also. Right. If they had kept the Lord's saying, they would keep yours also, man. That's why. That's why our people ain't trying to hear this, man. That's why our people persecuted the prophets because the Lord. They was. Uh, they. They rejected the Lord, man. So the ones that He sent in His stead upon the planet Earth, 
They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear them either, man. Go ahead. Verse 21. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know him that sent me. They, they know not him that sent me. Verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. God, man. So Yahweh Shai came, he, he spoke the word. He spoke the message that his father told him to give, man. He did the works that the father that the father told him to do, man. And there were eyewitnesses to the event that recorded the events in scripture, man. Okay? During the lifetime of other eyewitnesses, and our people still rejected him, man. Our people still rejected him, man. They always tried to find an excuse, man. Instead of, instead of just saying that he was Hamashiach, the son of God, and that's why he was doing the miracles, they said that he was a witch, man. They said that he was that he had a devil and that he was a Samaritan, man. He does the work by Beelzebub, by, by the prince of devils, man. Always trying to find a damn excuse not to get down with the Lord, man. So now they don't, yeah, now they don't got no fucking cloak, man. Mm -hmm. Now our people are through, man. We done. Kyrie's bitch ass, he knew. Yeah, I wish I was the Messiah. Man. He broke. He broke down, he broke the, down. the the cru the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. he, he broke down. Uh, he broke down the death of Yahweh Shai. Why it happened? The resurrection. Not only for not only for that nation only, which was the Jews in Jer in Jerusalem, the Israelites that was actually there in the land, but for the children of God scattered abroad. Man, he damn that broke down the whole New Testament, man. Yep. Before it was written, and he still and he still went ahead and had, had Yahweh Shai crucified, man. Sort of like how Nate. Broke down the name of Yahusha, yep. and now he don't preach. Yep. Yeah, you know, and there ain't no cloak for their sins, man. But they gonna reap what they sow. Since, since, um, and we out here at the stoplight, so you gotta walk right here. This is what um stoplight when you push a button. But a nigga, since we right here, niggas are across the street in the middle of the fucking street just to avoid us. So when that famine of the road come, you gonna reap what you sow. You ain't gonna be able to find no truth. You ain't gonna be able to find nobody to help you and advise you. You just gonna be out there. All you niggas just gonna be out there, man. Out there for the for the fucking fowls of the uh, earth to fucking eat. Muslims for peace. Muslims for peace. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> ain't no fucking peace with you. <laughs> that is false doctrine, man. The Lord hate people. Wow. That's Allah, though, huh? Allah, Allah and Jesus. Yeah. All them boys, they sit around at the round table together, smoking blunts and shit. That's you know some what fucking saying? bullshit. Muslim, the, the scriptures say Ishmael should, Ishmael should be a wild man. Yeah. So, yeah, you got proxies, you got the CIA over there starting shit, but Ishmael, they some fucking... They all terrorists and shit, man. <laughs> so fuck what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> yeah. love, love for all, hate for none. But the Lord said, I love Jacob and hate Esau, bro. In the Old Testament that you subscribe to, supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> I said it been Edomized. <laughs> they, they, done, they done put some uh, some Cesare sauce on that, <laughs> on their doctrine, <laughs> and now they love everybody. <laughs> but that's the farce too, though, because... They, they, they probably own convenience stores in the hood, man, selling our people poison and shit, man. Love yeah. for all, hate for none. Get the fuck out of here, man. Your ass to... going into slavery, man. Yeah. You damn heathens, man. Yeah, they gonna hate us. Yeah. yeah. You gonna, hey, if that's true, when, when, when the uh, most high his son deliver us up out of here, Lord willing, man, y'all gonna hate us, man. That's a promise. <laughs> Any one of uh, y'all women that come out looking uh, exceptionally good, they're ours. That's another reason why y'all gonna hate us. <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna have every Princess Jasmine on the planet. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> every Princess Jasmine. Y'all ain't gonna have one. Y'all just gonna have a woman to reproduce with yep. for a thousand years. Then y'all then y'all can buy.
Yeah. It's the book of uh, First Timothy, chapter four. Uh, book of First Timothy, chapter four, verse sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Read it again, I. Matter of fact, I'm going to start up. Because so this is mean cut in here, man. But niggas talking about there's no body here on earth. You know, we ain't going to dwell on that. But since we here, we might as well get all the meat off of us. Right. For edification's sake. Somebody get, uh, get the uh, rule that out, man. Go to uh, 1 Timothy 4 and uh, queue, up, queue up verse 14. 1 Timothy 4? Yeah. And 13. 14. And 14? Yeah. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 13, though. It says uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 13. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by the prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Look up the word presbytery, huh? 